in this screencast on conformational analysis, we're going to look at the compound 2-methylbutane. So we're going to look down the uh, C3 to C2 axis, then go through a series of rotations through the dihedral angle as shown here on the x-axis of our energy plot. On the y-axis is, is now the relative energy of the conformations to each other. So as we, as we look down the C3 to C2 bond, we're going to rotate uh, that bond counterclockwise, and then we'll watch this red circle as it follows the data points. So um, basically, we're, we're starting off with a gauche interaction here between the C2 uh, methyl and the, the C4 methyl. And we're going to rotate through as you can see, the energy goes up to this eclipsed conformation where we have uh, a methyl hydrogen eclipsing here and here and here as well. So that's <clears throat> basically we have at this point three methyl H uh, eclipsing interactions. And so then we're going to rotate through to an energy minimum, which is staggered. Now we have the C2, C4 methyl groups anti the C1, C4 groups gauche. And when we, when we do our next 60 degree rotation, we're going to see that we hit an energy maximum where we're getting to the point where we have now methyl-methyl eclipsing of, of C1 and C4. And then we have a methyl H eclipsing and an HH eclipsing contributing to that maximum. You can see at this point of the curve that it, it basically it, it starts to have our symmetry. So we're going to go down now to a staggered conformation um, that's still higher in energy to now we have two gauche uh, interactions, one between the C2-methyl and C4, the other between the C1-methyl and C4-methyl. And as we rotate counterclockwise again, we're going to get to an eclipsed conformation where it's now C4, C2 methyl eclipsing, HH eclipsing, and then H um, methyl eclipsing. And as we rotate now back um, to zero, we end up at, at the start of our uh, plot here. And so if we put on the little movie, you can see all of that happen. As we rotate, looking down the C3 to C2 bond, so again, in conformational analysis, we're typically looking at a Newman projection, which is uh, looking down a sigma bond. And uh, for clarity purposes in this video, the um, front carbon, which is C3, is being rotated, while the back carbon, C2, is, is being held constant. You can see that we have five distinct conformers that were uh, associating with energy minimum and energy maximum, and those occur with staggered and eclipsing conformations.